uh, is South Korea going to become more like North Korea or the other way around, uh, which we would hope North Korea would become like South Korea. But again, they're on the list, and uh, they are a friend. We owe it to the children and their families to resolve these abductions and to work to prevent them. I've written op-eds and conducted interviews with major foreign newspapers targeting problems in their countries, such as Brazil and Korea. Now, I've recently come to know my fellow parent, John Sitchi. John's two children were abducted from San Francisco to South Korea in 2019 and have yet to be returned to California. They were both toddlers at the time of the abduction. Um, his son wasn't quite three years old and his daughter had just turned one. Babies. Despite receiving a finalized Korean Supreme Court Hague return order in February 2022, he hasn't been permitted to see his children at all. He's been cut off from them, and as was indicated by my colleague, the lifelong emotional damage of B is being done day by day. It's intense. Since last October, John has staged a protest, a public protest in Seoul, walking for hours and hours on a portable treadmill, demonstrating the plight of every left behind parent who is trying and trying to reach their children, doing everything they can but getting nowhere. There's a picture of John on his treadmill in the galley today. Even the Korean public are, and media are sympathetic and supportive of his quest. Yet the Korean government has shown little regard for the Hague return order or his daily demonstrations for his children. Our nation has twice cited the Hague, this Hague partner, Korea, for non-compliance, including this year. In the Senate's annual resolution countering International Parental Child Abduction Month, they again noted the Supreme Court of the United States has recognized that family abduction is a form of child abuse with potentially devastating consequences for a child, which may include negative impacts on the physical and mental and well-being of the child, and may cause the child to experience a loss of community and stability, leading to loneliness, anger, and fear of abandonment. 